What's the big deal about compassion? Why do we need it? And why is it important? I'm Sarah Bowling. Thanks for joining. We're talking about compassion, continuing our series on compassion, looking at what Jesus did with compassion and why that's significant. So thinking about this week, we're looking at Jesus with compassion as it relates to healing as well as resurrection. And I find it interesting because Jesus, when he was met with physical needs, uh, there were blind guys that came to Jesus and it says he had compassion and he healed them. We read about that in Matthew 20 verse 34. There's another one that really catches my attention and I still circle around it because I just find it so interesting, so curious. Jesus is walking along a town and he's coming into this town and as he's coming in, there's a funeral procession coming out and it's this interesting collision of death versus Jesus. And the death is particularly problematic because the funeral procession has a widow who has lost her son. And when her son died, that's a really big deal. Number one, she's a widow, no husband. And number two, in this culture, it's very important to have a son, a male heir, to look after you as a mom, to protect you, to provide for you, to be a covering. I love my son! I love my son! So when this widow who had lost her husband, as well as losing now her son. I mean, this is not just the loss and the grief of, of death, but it's also what am I, the worry about the future, anxiety, panic. What am I going to do? Where am I going to? It's, it's a really big deal. So it's this interesting contrast of Jesus versus this death procession. And it says, as Jesus saw the procession, he had compassion. I love that. I think it is such a powerful thing to consider that Jesus sees the physical needs of blind dudes, can't find their way in life because they're blind. Wow, nothing gets past you. Jesus sees a widow who has lost a husband and a son who's grieving and fearful about the future and he has compassion. Compassion, such an important, such an important feeling and I believe this with all my heart. You know, when we go through life and we see people in grief, in loss, when we see people who have, like can't find their way in life, who are blind, who are deaf, what is, what, can we have compassion? Or are we repelled by the ugliness of their, of their um, impairment, if you will? Are we repelled by the, the grief and like, oh, I don't want to get near that, that sadness, that anguish. I don't want to, you know, I think we really have to pause and think about this because Jesus has compassion. I'm so glad Jesus has compassion. And I believe that Jesus has had compassion for you. Think about that and write that now in the comments. How, how has Jesus expressed compassion to you? Because it's very important for us to not only think about that, but also consider how that can also come through us to the people around us. And, you know, if this has really touched you, I encourage you to subscribe to this because this is super, super uh, compelling, interesting, engaging, and can be transformational in our lives. So as we think about compassion, I love watching Jesus exhibit compassion in really interesting scenarios, sheep without a shepherd for big, big crowds, watching Jesus be concerned about the practical needs in, in individuals' lives, having compassion. They don't have enough food. They've been following me for three days. Jesus having compassion for blind guys, a woman who had lost her son and her husband. Compassion, so, so very essential for who Jesus is. And if we're following Jesus, to let that also flow through us as well, not just to us, but through us. So finish up with an amazing joke. What do you call cheese that is, doesn't belong to you? <laughs> Nacho cheese. <laughs> All right, catch you next week.